Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here today with a great book for this generation, How to Teach Small Children to Sit in Church. Hey, it's harder than you think. Do you just threaten them with uh, corporal capital or eternal punishment? How do you do this? Kay Hopwood has done just a great job in giving a step-by-step -step manual on how to do this. Matter of fact, we just uh, pass these out at our church just to teach because parents don't know. And a lot of people that weren't raised in church, they're bringing in children. Their children are just used to just running wild, ADHD and all this kind of stuff. They don't know. And criticizing them is not going to solve the issue. So you just have how to teach small children to sit in church. has a phone number here. I'll, I'll show you this in an email that if you want to order copies of this book, you can get it from Sister K at those various sources, either phone number, fax, email, address right there. And uh, we're going to go over some of these steps right here. Training guidelines. Be consistent is first thing. It teaches them never to interrupt the moving of the Spirit. It teaches them a reverence for the Word when they're not allowed to leave during the preaching. It teaches them not to disturb others while they're worshiping. The children learn it's important to stay in service and instills in them a reverence for his house. Hey, we need to go over this with some adults. <laughs> Parents do not miss part of the preaching or worship service. So never let your children chew gum in church. And in doing so, we must be examples. We know there's times when you need to bring a sippy cup and such, but as soon as you can, leave them at home. Know this. Remember, the Lord is waiting to help us. Praise your children for the desired behavior. Teach your children to sit on the pew with you. Unless you, I was just at a church recently preaching, and they had all the young, and I'm talking about children, sit in one section, and when worship started, it was children taking off running and stuff. I loved it. But other than that, this is good. Never let your children run and play in the sanctuary. They need to gain respect. It will be very hard for them to gain respect that he's never had. If a child is allowed to play in church while he's young, then as he gets older, his parents want him to show respect for the building and sanctuary. It's very hard. How much grief we would save ourselves if we teach our children respect. Now again, I'm not throwing stones at anybody. Cause, I mean, people are coming out of the drug world. They're coming out of mental health issues and all kind of stuff with a bunch of children. And so the parents don't know, children don't know. This is just a helpful book. I found it was a fantastically helpful book. Pray with your child each day. Teach your child to handle the songbooks and booklets that we have at church with great care. Isn't this good? Teach your child to help others by doing for others yourself. Make sure your child has money to give the offering that he sees you giving. Your attitude when you give will determine if he or she is a cheerful giving. Giving will be a part of his life. Teach them that giving is not an option. Teach them that blessings of giving. Remember, you can't help give God. Teaching guidelines. Put the word of God into their hearts. Remember, your children not read the word every day if they not see you spend time reading the Bible every day. Never, never, never let your children hear you talk negative about the pastor or church members. Your children will take on your attitude and offenses. And what one generation does in moderation, the next generation does in excess. So, great little booklet, a lot in there. Uh, I just encourage you, try to get this book or re-watch this video and write down the things And because uh, we just want our children to be affected by Scripture, the Word of God, the power of the Holy Walking into an apostolic church service is the most powerful thing in all the world. People feel something. There's a drawing. God is there in our midst. And it's amazing. And that's where salvation's at. That's where deliverance is at. That's where blessings at. That's where strength's at. That's where Holy Ghost encouragement is. Deliver everything. And so uh, it's vitally important. We love you. And notice Jesus was a child one time as well. He had to know how to sit in synagogue. God bless. Talk with you later.